guys, Mega Gig back with another video. I thought I would do a video on set dungeons. Um, I might not do one for every single set, uh, for the Necromancer or for Barbarian or whatever, but I'm going to do a few of them because there's something I just recently learned about. Uh, to be honest, I never really paid attention to them. I'd heard of them, uh, but they give you some. Uh, they give you a portrait, I believe, and uh, an achievement. And uh, so I thought while I was having so much fun with Necromancer and they seem to be the hot thing right now, I would go over the Grace of Anarius set dungeon. Basically all you need is the Grace of Anarius uh, armor set. And uh, one thing I would recommend if you have one to wear it or if it's in the cube uh, is a Ingeome. I do not have one and I never cubed one because I never really thought I would use it but uh, that cooldown reduction is heavily needed. So instead, I am running a Gogok of Swiftness. Uh, if you have both, I would run both. Make sure to take out your Star Weaver. You don't want that because you're going to be uh, needing to kill things with your Bone Armor. You don't want anything dying with any other skills. So you can take these skills off if you like. I just prefer not to use them. The only skills you're going to need are Blood Rush and Bone Armor. So go to a waypoint, go to Act 1, and it is in the Drowned Temple. And uh, I will also say that uh, difficulty, uh, and you'll actually see when I click the set dungeon that difficulty has, the game difficulty you're set on has no bearing on the actual difficulty in the set dungeon. Which is kind of unfortunate because if you could turn the difficulty up a little bit it would be better allowing things to not die. So I'm just going to kill these guys real quick to, so they're not bugging me. Alright. Dungeon of the Grace of Anarius. So you click it. Here it goes over your, what you have to do. Your primary objectives are to rip a hundred bones from enemies with bone armor. So that's basically activating the skill. And then kill 200 enemies that are affected by your bone armor tornado or your bone nado. So what you want to do is you want to, a lot of times, dash in with Blood Rush, let your Tornado do damage for about a half a second, but you don't want it to always kill them. Uh, instead, you want to be killing enemies uh, with the active as well, because uh, you're trying to get both of the objectives to master the dungeon. Uh, the basic um, reward is just to complete one of them. Master it is to complete both of them. Taking fatal damage does fail the dungeon, but it doesn't kill you, and game difficulty has no effect on the dungeon difficulty at all. So the dungeon isn't difficult, actually, itself, uh, in the sense of you dying or whatever. It's just difficult to do the objectives without enough cooldown reduction. So I'm going to get a nice little group going here, and then we'll go ahead and kill them. You can see we got... 18 kills ever. We only got five and then six uh, for killing with our Bonado because not very many were affected by our Bonado. So you don't want to just completely rush through and kill everything. Uh, depending on your cooldown reduction, you'll need to kind of hang back a little bit and let things cool down. because the bone nato does kill things very very quickly now you could probably get rid of some of your other things and do less damage um, maybe that would help I'm not really sure or if you do basically the same amount of damage because it's a set dungeon Ah trying to get him with the with the active and they will see you from a distance too you will make a fine corpse. so we'll try and kind of lure these guys in and I just completely screwed that up too so we're at 75 here which is good but we're only at 35 here which is bad There we're at 43. Normally I try to complete the first objective first uh, because it's a lot easier to complete the second objectives. There's more than 200 enemies in here. I'm not exactly sure how many though, uh, but they do give you a slight buffer.
and we're just over halfway on both of them. The thing that makes this dungeon hard is the fact that you kill things so fast with your bonado. It's hard to have time to get them affected by the bonado and then be able to activate it before they die. And there's a big group that we want to save. So we'll just kind of run away from them for a second. Because the activating of the bone armor skill doesn't just kill in this tornado, it kills clear out to here. So if you're killing out here with, uh, with the activating of your bone armor, they aren't affected by your bonado. Getting pretty close though. We've got 82 now and then 150. So we can go ahead and kind of clear some of these guys out. Activate, clear a few more. As long as we kill in the five minute time range. If you do have an NG ohm, this will go quicker. Uh, otherwise, if you don't, you're probably going to be cutting it pretty close on the time. Objective one is complete. Good deal. So now we just need to run around and kill everything else with our bone NATO. And objective two is complete. All we have to do now is kill the rest of the enemies. And I'll probably do a guide on. Uh, there we go. Congratulations. We did everything. So our time was 4.06. I don't think the time really matters. Just you want to be under five minutes. So that is it, guys. That is the Dungeon of the Grace of Anaria set. Let me know if you'd like to see more of these guides, more of these kind of, you want to just see me walk through it. Um, I wouldn't mind doing some for the Barbarian. Uh, I'll probably do one more for the Necromancer. If you guys want me to do all of them, I'll look them up, and I'll do all of them, get a video up. Uh, of course, you can look these up on like the Diablo Wiki, or I'm sure you can probably YouTube them and find other people that have done them as well. Uh, but if you guys want to see a video of me doing them, let me know. I'll continue to do more. Uh, if you didn't enjoy the video, then I guess uh, say you didn't like it or hit the dislike button. But if you did enjoy the video, guys, leave a like and a comment if you like. Like and a comment if you like, yeah. And uh, subscribe if you aren't and you want to see more. Thanks, guys, and more good stuff to come. Take care.